cause it's going to be all right. Can I say that again? It's going to be.
Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Chapter. 
And I'll start at the 45th verse, and there you'll find recorded. I will not be reading from the King James Version this morning. Amen. I found it uh, most appropriate to read from the NIV. Amen. And so there you'll find me in Matthew's 27, beginning at the 45th verse. The NIV it says, "This is the death of Jesus." Amen. Um, from noon to three, and the uh, afternoon darkness covered all the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice and said, Eli, Eli, lama sabbathian, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Amen. And when some of those standing there heard this, they said, he is calling Elijah. Immediately yes. one of them ran and got a sponge and he filled it with wine vinegar, amen, to put it on a staff and offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest said, leave him alone. Uh, let's see if Elijah come to save him. And then when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his goals. Amen. I'll stop there. And my topic is very simple. Uh, it is the fall guy. Amen. Right. Amen. Let your neighbor tell your neighbor the fall guy. Amen. It's, a, it's kind of hard to preach when you ain't got but a few. Amen. But we're going to shift gears this morning. Amen. Because I'm excited about the fall guy. Amen. I remember uh, there was uh, in the corporate world, uh, you got to know that uh, there's always a fall guy. Amen. But somebody's always got to take the rep. Amen. And even though it's a corporate decision uh, or the corporation has made a bad choice, but there has got to be a fall guy. Amen. Amen. Right. And so when we think about how this thing came together with, with sin and, and the purpose that God had for his people, there had to be a fall guy. Amen. Right. And so Jesus said to, uh, to the Father, he said that to, to prepare me a body, I'll be your fall guy. And that should shout you right there to know that there was somebody willing to pay. Amen, amen. amen. Hey, he says that here we are. He, as he was taking the whips, he was saying simply that everything now that they bruised my hands. He says that we were, Isaiah simply said, but we were wounded for our transgression, and he was bruised for our iniquities, and, and the chest time of the peace was upon him. And with yes, his stripes yes. we are healed. And, and every lash he took, even on his hand, he was yes. simply saying, Now everything that you touch, amen, that it will be blessed. And when they put the nails in his hand, he said, Everything that you touch is going to turn to go. They put the nails in his feet, and he said, Everywhere you go, I'm going to order your steps, and, and you'll be able to go through some things. And, and then when they put the crown of thorns on his head, the, the 72, because here, here's the song of the year. Somebody said, I got 99 problems, but, but respect. God ain't one of them. Amen, somebody. And so he got the thorns of crown on his head. Just say that I might have sacked the two problems, but, but praising God ain't one of them. And thanking God ain't one of them. Hallelujah. And because of this, Amen. we got a fall guy. Amen. We got a fall guy. guy. And he was able to even in his wounds and his transgressions uh, that we, we bore upon him, he was still able to sustain who he was and, and move through the redemptive life. Amen. And as we began to close out, we began to see that uh, on Cavern that, that the enemy thought it was over. Yes, yes. He thought that, that, that forgiveness was over. He, he thought love was on the cross, right. but he didn't realize that the atonement was Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we've got to get into a place where we forget about what people are saying. Yes, yes. Because there's a fall guy that's there for us. And, and the people was getting it mixed up. They were saying he's calling for a lot. Yes. They, they, they thought that they thought that because he was calling for Elijah, they, they wanted to sit back and see how yes. things was gonna go with him. But he wasn't calling us on, on Elijah. He was simply talking to the father saying, Why have thou forsaken me? Yes. And I feel yes. so alone. But but the Bible said that the Lord had to let him go through this. And, and I just stopped by the table today. When you were going through something, when you were going through the crushing, when you're going through the pressing, it's necessary that you go through. It'll make you better, it'll make you wiser, because it's gonna make you a fresh oil. It's gonna make you a fresh wine. You're going to come out because you're going to go through the wine and press and it's going to crush you. But what it's doing is crushing the old you and producing a new you 
and you'll be better, you'll be wiser, and people won't understand who you are anymore. But they'll know who you are because you have a different walk, you have a different talk, because you've been on the cross, you, you went through the mold, and, and now you are virtuous. Oh, I'm grateful that we had a fall down. Yes. Because no matter what you go through in life, yes. we got a God that'll walk through with us. Yes, if you make your bed in hell, yes, he's there. If you gotta go in the fire and furnace, yes. he's there. Yes. If you gotta go to jail, he's there. Yes. If you don't believe me, call Paul and Silas and, Joe and ask them what happened when you go to jail, when, when you've been wrong, when you when you done nothing wrong but praise God and, and you find yourself in, in a jail cell. But, but but somebody say, Paul, you pray in silence, you sing, amen. And when we begin to have a Holy Ghost party, because a Holy Ghost party starts on a place that, that's not so comfortable to you. It ain't no real Holy Ghost party when you got the atmosphere with everybody, but when you're in a place of desolate, when you're a place where you can't, when there ain't nothing on the inside of you but hallelujah, and you ain't got no choice but to throw up your hand, that's a Holy Ghost party because you're able to tap into something that's not of you. Amen. 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 And so I thank God today so true, so true. for the fall of God. And we just want to close with saying Thank God for the fall of God. Yeah. Even when the, when the legion of angels was on, on standby, yes, yes, yes. I can just see them now. Yes. Just say the word, Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. Just say the word. Just say the word. But the word didn't have to come forward uh -huh. because the fall God had integrity. Yes. And he was going to let the Lord will be done. Yes. And so I want to encourage you today to let your will let his will be done in your life. Yeah, Knowing that you have a fall, God, yeah. that will be able to be there for you in your time of comfort, the time of need. Yeah. Especially when you get to the end of the road and you feel like you ain't got nowhere else, nowhere else to go, yeah. there's still a fall, God. Yeah. I thank God for you today. I thank God for each of you that, that watch us be alive. God bless you. We're going to move on. Uh, to our next portion of service. This is the first Sunday, and so I want to just pray for those who, who are uh, betwixt and between and, and not understanding the fall guy, and understanding that the fall guy is working it out for you. Amen. And so if that's you today, if you feel as though that you've lost hope, or you feel as though that the Lord has left you, I just stop by today to encourage you to let you know that there's still a bum in Gilead, there's yes. still hope for the yes. hopeless, amen. And so I just want to have a quick prayer with you. If you don't have a, a church home, this is a place where you could come and fellowship with us. And unfortunately, at the time, we're not able to open the doors of the church for the people, God, but, but please stay in contact with us, amen. You can reach us here or write us a letter or, yeah. or you can always call. Amen. The address here is 11739 Kinsman Road, Cleveland, Ohio, 44120. We thank God for you. And as we close in prayer, Father, today we thank you for being the phone, God. We thank you, God, for what you did on Cameron's cross when you said it was finished, it was done. God, we thank you thank so you. much, God, that when we were too scared to live and wasn't yes. fit to die, God, it was the fall, God, that stepped in on our behalf, God. The Bible says that you say prepare us about God, yes. and you will go, and God, we thank you for going, you. and you laid on the cross, and you died, and, and we thank you now, God, that you died for, for your people, God. You took upon our sins, God. And so, Father, we thank you for what you've done. Thank you. We thank you for what you're doing now. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. 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 At this portion of the service, we will go into our communion service. We would ask that you have your communion with you. Amen. As we move forward with our portion of the communion. Welcome to the communion table. First, we look back. We are to participate in the communion in the remembrance of Jesus Christ. Though we must be reverent and must be appreciative of the communion symbolize. The communion also speaks of intimacy and fellowship. So we look back, we look back at the cross. We remember what Christ accomplished for us and we remember his love for us. Secondly, we look ahead. The scriptures say to do this until he comes again. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 23. 
The first thing, the first time Jesus came to this earth, he came as a suffering savior. The next time, he will come as a conquering king. The communion is an observation to remind us that Jesus will come again. Thirdly, the communion is a time where we look in. We look, we are to look in and ask the Holy Spirit to show us any areas of our life that may not be pleasing to God. Once we acknowledge these errors, we are to repent of all these sins, to fail to do so and then take part in the communion is to eat and drink that nation unto yourself. As in the King James Version reveals, or it is to eat and drink, not honoring the body of Christ. Amen. 1 Corinthians 11, and it reads, verses 23 through 26. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he returns. 1 Corinthians 11 through 27. So then, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you, Lord, giving you thanks, Father, for the communion, for your sacrifice, God, one that you did not have to make, but you made willingly, God. So, Father, I ask that you search each one of our hearts, each one of our minds, God. If there's anything that would be unpleasing to you, God, we ask for your forgiveness. Lord, we ask that we take this, Lord, in a pleasing manner. And Lord, we ask that you just forgive us for all of our sins, God, known and unknown. We ask for your protection. We ask for your love. We ask for your grace. And we thank you for all that you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And that night, they were all together. And Jesus took the bread and he blessed it. He broke it. And he said, this is my body. Amen. That was broken for you. He blessed it and said, eat it. They did all eat Likewise, he took the cup, said, this is the cup of blood that was poured out and shed for you. He blessed it and said, drink, and they did all drink. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day.